Besides all of the beneficial aspects of gravity that help us every day, gravity is kind of an inconvenience when you think about it. It means we have to exert massive amounts of energy to get places, it causes things to fall to Earth, it caused Isaac Newton to get that headache from an apple that hit him in the head. In fact, one engineer hated gravity so much that he devoted his entire life to fighting it. That man's name was Roger Babson. Babson was born in 1875 in Gloucester, Massachusetts, and later went to MIT earning an engineering degree. He became so successful in his early career that within a decade, he was a multimillionaire. He attained such status through his wealth that he eventually became one of the leading economists of the time, writing more than 40 books on the topic. Babson even founded a college in Massachusetts that is one of the most prestigious entrepreneurship colleges in the U.S. today. Babson strongly believed that Sir Isaac Newton's law of gravitation as well as action and reaction affected not only physics, but the stock market as well. He utilized principles around this odd viewpoint to predict the crash of the stock market in October 1929, and the subsequent Great Depression in the U.S. His pseudo-admiration of gravity eventually turned into a problematic relationship. He is quoted in an essay as saying, Gradually, I found that old man gravity is not only directly responsible for millions of deaths each year, but also for millions of accidents, broken hips and other broken bones, as well as numerous circulatory, intestinal, and other internal troubles are directly due to the people's inability to counteract gravity at a critical moment. The engineer's grudge with gravity started to form. That grudge eventually turned into passionate disdain when in 1947 he lost his grandson by drowning. Later that year, he founded the Gravity Research Foundation to fight back. The foundation's sole goal was to invigorate new research into the subject of gravity by awarding grants to those who submitted proposals or essays. Babson's core intentions were to find someone who could create an anti-gravity device. Initially, the scientific community didn't take much interest in an organization that wanted to fight a core physical principle, so eventually, Babson reworded his ideology to focus on understanding gravity. That goal was more scientifically friendly at the time. The Gravity Research Foundation held an annual essay competition that drew the world's top minds, like Stephen Hawking, mathematician Roger Penrose, and even Nobel Prize laureate George Smoot, whose cousin is Oliver Smoot, who has his own mathematical unit named after him. You can watch that video here. The Gravity Research Foundation, headed by Babson, ended up giving grants to 13 colleges and universities in the U.S. in the 1960s. The grants came with stone monuments to remind the students of the grant and its intention. However, these illustrious grants sat unused for decades because they were strictly to be used for anti-gravity research. Most institutions had no idea how to spend money on that, so eventually, after Babson's death, most colleges used the money for other purposes. Babson spent his life and most of his money devoted to fighting the laws of gravity. He nobly wanted to find a cure for gravity to save millions of lives. While most universities didn't use the grant strictly for anti-gravity research, one university is notable. Tufts University. They used their grant to fund Tufts Institute of Cosmology, where students and faculty research theoretical physics and cosmology. Many research projects at this institute focus on false vacuums and repulsive gravity, some of the world's leading anti-gravity research. Roger Babson's fight against gravity was done so mostly monetarily, and it lives on ever so slightly at Tufts. The scientific community has been furthered as a whole through the Gravity Research Foundation's grants and initiatives over the years, even though Babson wanted to find an anti-gravity device. And that's how one engineer's vendetta against a core physics principle led to millions of dollars directed to scientific research and creation of a foundation dedicated to anti-gravity research. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, you can watch more of our videos here or here or you can check out our channel here for all of our content. We have new stuff coming out every Monday, and you can check out our Patreon account here if you'd like to be more involved with the channel. Thanks again.